What's up everyone? Thanks for checking out another project video. Today I'm showing you how I made this pit guard for an acoustic guitar. Let's check it out. What's up everyone? My name is Mitch and you're watching Made by Mitch where I show you the things I make and what I learned making them. I believe that anybody can make, so if you like to make things or you want to learn how to make things, consider subscribing. So I've had this guitar for more than 10 years now and it's been a really good guitar. A few years back the pit guard started peeling off of it so I just kind of ripped it off with intentions of buying a new one at some point and I decided to make a new one. So this project is something that is really meaningful to me because music is such a big part of my life. So I started this project out with just a single piece of scrap walnut that I had around the shop. And I used my planer to get the board to about an inch thick. So the idea for this was to cut the board into multiple strips and then glue those strips together. But the first thing I had to do was use the joiner jig to get one side straight and then I would flip that side over, put it against the fence to get the other side straight. After this I cut the board into 1 8 inch thick strips on the table saw. And if you're not comfortable doing this on a table saw, you could use a straight edge and a circular saw to get strips cut like this just the same. And then I used the cross cut sled to cut these big strips in half. So I just finished cutting these pieces on the table saw. They turned out really well. Um, they're an eighth inch thick. I think that's gonna be perfect for what I um, am using these for. One thing I noticed is that the edge is not completely flat, so I'm gonna use a hand plane just to, to smooth out the edges a little bit. That way they go together a lot better. We want as much surface area as we can possibly have touching when we glue it up, so that way uh, it won't come apart since they're so thin. So let's get to it. I was struggling to find a way to hold this while I was planing it at first, and so I ended up getting two boards and clamping them on either side of the small strip, and then I just used a hand plane to smooth up this edge a little bit, and it worked really well. I know this isn't the right hand plane for it, but it worked anyways. And after I got the edges flattened up, it was time for the glue up. And pro tip, don't use paper like I did, use wax paper. It works much better. More on that in a bit. I laid out all the strips and the place that they were going to be glued up in, and then I screwed a couple boards to my workbench so that way I could clamp them together using a, a makeshift clamp, and then I just added glue to each of the strips and then glue them together. Okay, so all three of my camera batteries have died. <laughs> So I'm using my phone right now, so if the quality is a little different, sorry about that. But I wanted to show you, I had to glue this up real quick, I wanted to show you what I did um, for this. So I have three boards, two of them are screwed to the table, and then I have another board that's acting as like the clamp holding the pressure. And then I have a couple wedges um, that, that I am using to kind of keep these boards in place. And so the wood is under this board. I use these two shims to tighten it down so all the pressure was going this way and this was fastened here so I was pushing all of the all of the pressure of it clamping it this way and then I put this board on top and I drilled it down to my bench to keep it from built from buckling up so I think it's gonna work hopefully we'll see see what happens while that was drying I went into the house to get the template ready for the pit guard and I used another guitar I had in the house for inspiration so I put a piece of cardstock on the guitar and then I lightly scribbled a line all the way around the shape of the pit guard and doing it this way I didn't have to press hard to get the line that I needed so that way I could go back and cut it out. After a few days of letting the glue dry I could go back down and take all of the boards off of the glue up. Now back to what I was saying a little bit earlier about not using paper for this. I honestly thought I was going to have to start over for this whole project because I, I didn't have wax paper. I knew I should have used it, but I just decided to try to use paper. And this would have saved me a lot of time if I would have not have done this, so I would not advise it. But I did use a chisel and a razor blade to get all the paper off. And then once I did that, I could sand everything down really well. And I started with 80 grit just to get all of that glue off of there and then I went all the way up to 220 grit and this thing looked really nice. 
Now that I have my thin piece of solid wood, I can go ahead and add the shape that I traced earlier onto this to cut it out. I would advise using a spray adhesive for this, but I used a hot glue gun, which did okay, but I think a spray adhesive would have been a little bit better. So I just glued the piece of paper on to the piece of wood, and then I actually glued the plank of wood onto a sacrificial piece of board. Um, that way I could cut it without it chipping away and, and uh, breaking apart. I used a jigsaw with a fine tipped scroll saw blade for this type of cut. That way I can get in and out of the curves really easily. I'll leave a link in the description for the blades I used. They were awesome for this type of project. I left a little bit of space when I was cutting it out so that way I could go in with the bench sander and, and sand it down all the way to the line, which worked out really well. And after this, I could take off my template and then I used a flush cut saw to separate my plank from the, the sacrificial board that I used. And this actually took a long time to get this cut off, but I finally got there. And then it was time to add finish and I decided to use Danish oil on this one because it's my favorite and I love the way it pops the walnut. Now it's time to attach it to the guitar. It felt really weird to be gluing something to my guitar but if you do something like this a couple tips ahead of time make sure you take off the strings make sure you clean the surface area really well um, and then when I added glue to my pit guard, it actually started bowing the, the pit guard because it was so thin. So I wasn't prepared for this, so I had to um, go get some clamps and I just honestly found whatever I could to try to, to clamp this and hold it in place the best that I could. Um, so I found using a solid piece of wood, I clamped that on and then I used some paper to get glue under the edges a little bit and then I clamped um, those edges on and just tried to make it work getting as much pressure on this as I could without obviously smashing the guitar. It looked a little bit like it was rigged, but it got the job done. Question of the day. What is the most challenging project you've ever done? Could be a woodworking project or a metalworking project or even a sewing project, any type of project. Put it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on that question. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, you might like some of my other project videos that I have on my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next project. So my name is Mitch and this channel is Made by Mitch where I show you the things I make and what I learned making them.